what if I tell you that that is actually a pair of wireless earbuds constructed from aluminium, Red Dot Winner 2022 and IF Design Award 2022 winner. And it also comes in a host of exciting colors. But it's only half the price of Apple AirPods. Well, here it is, the Free Nord True Wireless Earbuds by Studio Nord. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So basically over here, we actually test and review budget and wireless earbuds to help you to decide before you hit the buy button. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. And before we begin, a huge shout out to Studio Nord for sending me this to test and review a couple of weeks ago. And of course, if you missed the unboxing of this particular product, feel free to click here to check it out before you come back to this review. Now let's talk a little bit about the basic features. It actually retails for around 79 US dollar. I think it's currently on the discount. You can check it out in their website. I'll put in the link over here. You can check it out. It comes in four attractive colors. I think it comes in neon orange, dusty pink, classic blue and charcoal gray. The case dimension, the length is about 60 millimeters, the width is about 46, height is about 22.5 millimeters. The charging case weighs around just slightly under 40 grams, and, but the earbuds itself are really light, it's only about 4.3 grams. The, it utilizes touch control on the earphone's head, the battery life, the earbuds last up to about four hours on the single charge, and the charging case can offer an additional 32 hours. It utilizes USB-C charging port. It has Bluetooth 5.0. The driver is 13 millimeter custom built titanium dynamic drivers. The microphones are actually high SNR or what we call signal to noise ratio. There are motion detecting sensors and the free knot is actually IP54 water and dust resistant rated. All right, so let's talk about the design here. The shape of the case, it actually stands out from what is actually currently available on the market. It's actually rectangular in shape, smooth round corners, it's compact, it's small. When you hold it in your, in, in, your, in your hand, it actually feels solid, it feels sturdy, it feels very premium, which in my own perspective, compared to a lot of earbuds design that I've actually uh, tested over the last, I think one and a half years, most case design out there are pretty unvaried and it's a pretty characterless. The free knot is actually constructed out of aluminum. Most designs I see out there are basically made out of plastic. Uh, some are so thin that I don't really want to drop them. The surface of the case, as you can see from here, is actually anodized aluminum. So what this means is that it's more resistant to daily wear and tear, also including like scratches and scalp. As you can see here, I've been using this for, you know, the past two weeks. I use it as my daily driver. You can see that, you know, uh, there are some scratches on the casing itself, but it's not that obvious that the matte finishing on the surface of the case, it also means that you don't need to worry about leaving your fingerprints all over it. Now, besides the company name at the back of the case, there's only the USB-C port at the bottom and then there's nothing else except for the, sign, for the shiny hinge. Now, the case interior, let me open up. Of course, you don't find the earbuds in the case because I'm actually wearing it right now. So this is, you can actually have a look on how it looks like on the left ear and on the right ear, you can have a good look. And when you open the case, you will see that this is where the earbuds will lay. Let me put them back. See, this is how the earbuds will look like when you open the case. All right, so between the earbuds, you will see that there's actually a LED light indicator, which actually this let you know it uses different colors to indicate the battery level. This one will come to that when we talk about the battery. And below that is actually a physical reset and pairing button. So. The earbuds, you can see here, let me take it out from my case, it actually adopts the same, a similar design to the Apple AirPods 2. Okay, but if you inspect further, I personally feel that the Free Knot actually has a much thicker stem. It's wider as well. I feel that for the stem on the Free Knot is actually easier to hold, especially for people like me, whereby we have fat and big fingers. But not only that, the top part of this curve is where the touch controls are actually being housed. Now, whenever we talk about wireless earbuds, the first major thing 
to consider is always the battery life. Now the battery size of the case is 500 milliamp, though there's actually no mention of the battery size within each earbud. The company actually claimed that the earbuds can last up to four hours on a single charge. And the case provides an additional 32 hours, giving the users up to a total of 36 hours. On my own testing, the earbuds, they last around four hours on music at 100% volume. Talk time wise, the free knot, they last around 3.5 hours. For mixed usage, free knot lasted around three hours and we're looking at around two hours of music at 100% volume and talk time of one hour. The case was actually able to provide around six to seven full charges to both earbuds, which is really incredible. I don't really see a lot of uh, earbuds, the casing actually providing so many full charges. And besides that, a 15 minute quick charge in the case will provide the earbuds around one hour of music. Otherwise, the case will take around one hour to charge the earbuds from zero to 100. When you put the earphones back in the case, the case LED light will actually show a blinking green light to indicate that the case is charging the earbud. To juice them up, simply plug in the USB-C cable and the LED light will show a solid red. When it's fully charged, the light will turn to a solid green. It takes around 1.5 hours to fully charge the case from 0 to 100. Overall, I would say that the battery life performance of these is pretty on par with what the company claimed. Now let's move on to another major thing to consider when it comes to wireless earbud and that is its day-to-day -day functionality. The initial Bluetooth pairing experience with my iPhone 12 mini was an absolute delight. Free knot features quick pairing, which means to say once you open the lid, you will see free knot pop up on the Bluetooth profile screen. Tap on it and it takes only two seconds to complete the pairing. It's easy, no animation, no apps, no updates and subsequent Bluetooth free connection is almost instant with the devices you have paired whenever you open the lid. Unlike most earbuds I've tested, it's super easy to actually take the free knot earbuds out from the case. Uh, let me do a comparison. You can see here from the side view, all right, is that uh, the earbuds of the free knot they actually sit pretty shallow in the case, right? So it's actually quite easy to slide the earbuds out from the case. You can see from here doesn't take a lot of strength. Now, besides that, some of you might be concerned about since the earbuds, they're sitting so shallow in the case, would it be easy for them to fall out? Well, to my surprise, the magnets, the connection pin over here, they actually provide a really strong magnetic connection and you know, it, it would take a lot of swing strength you know, to actually de-lodge the earbuds from the case. And let's do the magnet test to see how strong the magnets are. Right, the magnets are very strong. I'm actually using a lot of strength right now. They are, ah, finally it bulge, right? So the magnets holds the earbuds pretty well. Just now I actually use a lot of strength to, to dislodge, right? So that's one good thing. Since the earbuds, they actually just, they actually don't go into your ear canal. They actually sit right outside your ear canal. So firstly, it doesn't trap heat. Next, it doesn't go into your ears, so you don't, you don't need to feel uneasy you know, about having something going into your ear. And plus, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't trap heat. So I actually don't feel any ear fatigue, even if I wear them for like four hours straight. On a day-to-day -day basis, the Bluetooth connection stability with my iPhone 12 mini is very stable. I don't actually experience any uh, intermittent disconnection or any dropouts. The earbuds also have built-in motion sensor, which means to say that once you take one side out, it will automatically pause the music or the video which you're watching. And when you put it back on, it will automatically resume. Now, in terms of controls, free not come pre-installed with a few touch command, namely for music, two taps on either earbuds while pause and play, for phone calls, you can two double tap on both either earbuds to answer or hang up the call. For others, you can actually do a triple tap on either earbuds to activate the voice assistant such as Google or Siri. The touch control are pretty responsive and since the touch control actually located at the top on, of the earbuds where the curved head is, I don't actually have no worries about accidentally you know, activating the commands whenever I grab the stamp. Now, some of you may actually feel that the touch commands within the free knot might seem a little bit too bare bone in today's context, but from my own perspective, in fact, these are the commands I 
utilize like almost 99% of the time. In fact, not just on the free knot, but on any earbuds that I've actually tested or over the last like one and a half years, I feel that, you know, commands such as, you know, volume up, volume down, um, next track, previous track, etc. I personally feel that these are things which I can actually do it much easier on my phone rather than, you know, going through the touch commands. And for rejecting call, well, maybe I'll throw this question back to you. Would you prefer the earbuds to slowly read out the phone number or the name of the caller? Or would you rather take a quick glance on your phone screen, see who's calling you, and then if it's someone that you doesn't want, you can just press on the red reject button. I mean, I'll leave this question to you. For me, I will be the latter because it's way faster. When it comes to gymming, workout, jogging, the IP54 water and dust rating, it is really handy as it means that you don't need to worry about earphones, you know, uh, malfunctioning when it comes to contact with a little bit of water or a little bit of dirt and a little bit of mud. But of course, would they drop out? Well, when I actually wear them for jogging or when I'm doing like jumping jacks, they actually didn't move at all. You know, but still, if you're still worried, you can actually consider getting those third-party ear hooks or ear wings. Now, touching on the daily functionality of the free knot, we have to talk about the main thing, and that is actually the sound quality of the free knot. Now, inside this earbuds, a uh, huge 13 millimeter custom made titanium dynamic drivers coupled with base reflex enclosure and anti occlusion air vents it also supports svc and aac audio codec now all this sounds fancy right honestly speaking from my own perspective is really down to how do they perform in the real world during my listening Due to the lack of proper seal and fit, it means that I can hear my music, the music that I'm playing, the video that I'm playing, and at the same time, I can actually hear all the outside noises like it's nobody's business. When you're in noisy places, such as in buses and you know, trains, you actually need to up the volume up to at least around 70% to be able to feel the bass. Though the lack of proper seal means that I always need to set the volume around 60 to 70%. The good thing here is that the volume output of the free knot is pretty loud. But still, even at maximum volume, the overall sound doesn't crack and it maintains the quality throughout. Now for hip hop and pop, vocals are really rich. The bass is pretty okay. When it comes to EDMs and you know, electro music, vocals again are clear and I can actually hear the lows. Listening to instruments and classicals, I would say it's just passable. Vocals shine brightly, but uh, it's quite obvious that the free knot is not really suitable for instruments and classical. Overall for music, I feel that the free knot is going for stronger vocals and bass. I would say it's generally suited for, you know, just general listening. And finally, the next segment is a variety of sound clips to demonstrate the microphone quality of this. Remember to put on your headphones. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. I am currently in a room in a quiet environment and I'm doing a microphone test on the free Nord 2 wireless earbuds by Studio Nord. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently walking along a busy road and I am doing a microphone test on the three knot wireless earphones. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm coming in a day and I'm doing a microphone test on the three knot wireless earphone by Studio Knot. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm coming inside um, the subway station and I'm doing a microphone test on the three knot wireless earbuds 
Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Hi everyone, I'm currently in my room and I am using the Free Nod True Wireless Earphones by Studio Nod to talk to Zoom. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi, I'm actually currently walking on a busy road and I am doing a microphone test on the free not wireless earphone. I'm using it to record a WhatsApp audio message. Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently inside the cafe and I am doing a microphone test on the free not wireless earphone by Studio Not. I'm currently using it to record a WhatsApp audio message. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so at the end of the day, are they worth it? Should you consider to get the free knot by Studio Knot or get something else? Well, I personally feel that if you wish to spend a little bit more for premium and is looking for like fast free wireless earbuds, which is not Apple, then the free knot is definitely worth some serious considerations. Solid aluminum chassis, small compact case, overall good battery life. The microphone quality is loud and clear for calls and video conferencing, even in noisy places. And they just work right out of the box. And there you have it. This is, has actually been my personal review of the free knot true wireless earbuds by Studio Knot. I hope my sharing has helped you. If it did, it'd be great if you could actually smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, but most importantly, share this content with your friends who are considering wireless earphones. My name is Johnny, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.